I think to me, a sane way to walk in life, which what I call the middle way, is to, to understand that you have not figured it out. To me, that's what saves me. To be a good teacher is to allow yourself to leave room for progress also. And to me, that's the beauty of life. Life is a quest, life is a journey, and there's always more to discover to me. I was lucky to grow up in Europe. And in Europe, you are very quickly in contact with other language. Learning a new language has a lot, a lot of advantage. It's not only the words, it's culture. It's the way of conceptualizing things, which can be very different from one language to another one. So in a pretty early age, I begin to understand how people think differently. The fact that there is so much language on her, we don't have one human that is exactly the same as the other one. I think all that spoke about the diversity of God and the multiple possibilities that we have in this universe. So I've been fascinated since a long time by, by language and it's why I'm so curious and interested by, by so many things. And to me, being part of discovering and journey with God is letting God help me to explore a little bit more. Some people think they figure out God. God in a little box. To me, it's just destroying the idea of God. Like Paul say, who can measure the deepness, the wideness, the highness of God? Nobody can do that. Isn't that amazing that, that, that every flake of snow, if you look under a microscope, are different? Why? Why does that need to be different? I breed cats and I, I probably had 100 kittens in my whole life. Each of those cats were different in personalities. This past 10 years, I've been fascinated by astrophysics and astronomy. We are right now living the golden age of astronomy. And every day we discover new X planets here and there. And it is amazing to me, it just blows my mind because when we are born as a baby, we think we're the center of the universe. And we begin as a baby group to discover, oh, there's more, there's another layer, layer, layer. And that's what should be all our life. I remember this student uh, that came to me, he was taking some theology class on campus that were extremely challenging for him. And he one time came to me and he said, I don't know if I believe anymore here and there. He was, was in full Christ. And I said, it's okay, no, don't worry, there's nothing wrong. Uh, but if you can, let me help you process with that because you'll come as stronger being and Christian after that. Let me share with you experience of how God has worked in my life, incredible things. And I help him process that and today he is a missionary pastor in South Africa. If I come with you with an idea that is completely alien to you, the first reaction, and it's normal, you're going to just reject completely. It's a kind of uh, survival reaction because if you directly assimilate a new idea that I give you is going to destroy completely your system and you have nothing to grasp yourself, right? It's part of the process. And then you begin to receive this concept and it needs to do its way. In all kinds of specs, it can be faith, it can be belief system, understanding what you're doing in the world. There are different stages of life. Understanding this new language right? You have to walk with people, walking. And that's exactly to me the big message of Jesus. Jesus walk with people. This is part of our mission, to discover, grasp this incredible world created by God that offers so many possibilities and so many options. So to me, to be Christian is to be open mind and not closed mind. And to me also, God revealed himself not one way. God has, has multiple ways to talk to us and we need to be aware of that. So to me being a teacher is to help people to accept diversity also.